collecting as many of them as they can, but still hundreds of people have been stung in the past week. We've never seen as many jellyfish as this year. So why are there so many more stingers near the beaches this year? Well, some experts say global warming is making life easier for jellyfish because they like warm water. That means their numbers could rise even more. Other people think that the currents in the sea are pushing them closer to the coast. Whatever the cause, these people certainly won't forget their little dip into the sea. I'm not going to Spain for a couple of weeks. Yeah, that sounds a bit bad. Now, the floods in Pakistan, the mudslides in China, the wildfires in Russia. News has been telling you about lots of extreme weather over the past couple of weeks. It turns out it's all linked to just one weather pattern. Every day, we seem to hear another story about the weather causing serious problems. In Russia, people are struggling to cope with a record-breaking heatwave, which has led to forest fires. Pakistan's having its worst ever rainy season, leaving large parts of the country totally underwater, with up to 14 million people affected. In China, heavy rain is causing massive landslides, destroying houses and blocking roads. I headed across to the BBC Weather Centre to find out what's going on. Matt, can you show us why all this weird weather's happening? So it can. It's all dictated by almost a motor wave flattering air way up in the atmosphere, way above our heads. For sure here, it's been moving northwards towards Moscow over the past uh, days. That's brought all the heat. 